Problem Solving Choosing Reasonable Answers, Lesson 8.13. When we need to measure something, we need to use the correct tool. And to find how long something is, we can use a ruler. To find how much liquid volume something is, we can use a measuring cup. To find how much something weighs, we can use a scale. And to find how hot or cold the temperature is, we can use a thermometer. So let's see which tool would we use if we wanted to know how much juice is in a bottle, would we use a ruler, a cup, a scale, or a thermometer? Which one do you think to find how much juice is in a bottle? Well, if you said cup, you're right, because that would be liquid volume, wouldn't it? That would be the capacity in liquid volume. How about how heavy a book bag is? Would we use a ruler, a cup, a scale, or a thermometer? Well, how heavy something is is how much it weighs, right? And to find how much something weighs, we would have to use a scale. So if you said scale, you're right. How about how hot it is outside? Would we use a ruler, a cup, a scale, or a thermometer? If you said thermometer, you're right because it tells us the temperature outside. We just talked about that in the last video, didn't we? How about if you wanted to know how long is your arm? Would you use a ruler, a cup, a scale, or a thermometer? Well, how long something is, is its measure, right? In length, and if we wanted to know the length of a measure of something, we would use a ruler, right? We'd see if it was inches or centimeters, and then we'd know how long it is, all right? Now, let's see if we can answer these. Which unit of measure would we use? If we wanted to know how heavy is a pumpkin, if you have a pumpkin and you wanna know how heavy it is, would you measure it in units of inches, pounds, cups, or Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit? Well, how heavy a pumpkin is, we would do it in pounds, wouldn't we? If you said pounds, you got it right. How about this one? What if we wanted to find out which units we would use to find how long is a comb? Would we use inches, pounds, pints, or degrees Fahrenheit? Well, how long means its length, doesn't it? We could use inches. That would tell us how heavy it is. That would tell us its liquid volume, and that would tell us if it was hot or cold, wouldn't it? So inches would be the right answer. How about if we wanted to know how much lemonade is in a pitcher? Would we use feet, pounds, quarts, or degrees Fahrenheit? Do you remember from the lesson we did before? Well, if we have lemonade in a pitcher, we have liquid volume, don't we? We want to know the capacity of the pitcher. So we'd do quarts, because that would tell us liquid volume, wouldn't it? How about this? What if we wanted to know how long is a pencil? Would we use a centimeter, gram, liter, or degrees Celsius? Well, it says how long, so we need a unit of measure that tells us length. So if you said centimeter, you're right. The gram would tell us how much it weighs, the liter would tell us liquid volume, and that would tell us hot or cold, wouldn't it? What if we wanted to know how hot is the soup? We got some soup and we want to know how hot it is. Would we do it in centimeters, kilograms, liters, or degrees Celsius? Do you know? If you said degrees Celsius, you're right. Good job. That tells us the temperature, doesn't it? All right, let's use a ruler and see if we can measure these colorful lines. So here we have a ruler and I have a red line here. Can you see about how many inches that red line is? These are the inches right here. We can see it even says inch right here. See that? If you said five inches, you're right. It's about five inches. How about this green one? Do you know about how many inches this green line is? Can you see the inches along the top here? Well, if you said seven, you're right, good job. How about this one? Remember, IN is the abbreviation for inch? 
How many inches is the orange line? If you said three, you're right. We can see the three right there where it lines up, can't we? All right, let's try some metric. This red line is about how many centimeters? So now we flip the ruler over. Here was the inches. Now this is the centimeters. Can you see about how many centimeters it is? If you said 16, you're right. It's about 16 centimeters. See that? How about this one? How long is this green line here? Here's our centimeters. If you said nine, you're right. It's about nine centimeters, isn't it? It goes right up to that nine on the centimeter side of the ruler. All right? I hope this helped you, and I hope you're having a really good day. And we're going to continue talking about measurement. We're going to talk about using a ruler and half inches. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.